so I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys my February favorites today. I know it's a little bit late, but I have some really exciting news for you guys before I finish, before I start this video. So, um, I am really excited to tell you guys that I have a blog now, and it's www.chrisheartsmakeup11.blogspot.com. Now, um, I'm going to put that down in the down bar just to make sure the spelling's all right and then so that you guys have a link to it. And that's about it. So, I made it last night and I posted something on it. And if you guys can give me some feedback or tell me, you know, what types of things that I should put on there, then that would be great. Um, and I'm just going to be posting pictures of this look because I can't, I don't know how to post them in a video because I'm kind of computer dumb. So, um... Yeah, I'm just going to be figuring that out all day. So without further ado, I will show you guys my favorites. Um, the first thing is going to be not beauty or makeup related, and that's actually like magazines. And I've been really loving this Vogue issue. It's the Vogue um, March 2011 issue. And Vogue doesn't really have anything um, as far as content goes. Um, they don't have very many articles. Like this is one page in like a million ads. So they don't have anything as far as content goes, which is really disappointing, but there are so many beautiful pictures, um, and I get so much inspiration for spring, and, um, for, like, even just from the ads, there's, like, a Lady Gaga ad that I am really looking forward to doing, um, not this look, of course, but, um, the one, the one from MAC, because she has, um, new colors coming out, so... I'm really excited to um, do looks from this because it's really exciting. So I think, although it's a March one, it came out in the beginning of February, go figure. So I'm going to be doing looks from this magazine all the time. I'm going to start my first one tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, oh wait, no, maybe not tomorrow because I have a job interview tomorrow. So maybe some other time during the week. Um... Okay, and then I have this magazine. I know you guys probably aren't into Supercross, but I am. So I have been reading the magazine actually ever since um, January 8th when I went to the first opening um, Supercross at Angel Stadium. And it was really exciting. I've been reading this book just because it shows you all the tracks. Like, that's a Salt Lake City one. That's not for a while. Um, but last night's isn't in here, so I don't know. And I was so sad that James Stewart, Stewart wrecked. Um, you guys probably don't care about Supercross, so I'm probably just not going to talk about that anymore. Um, but I'm really into it. Okay, and then the next thing is skincare. Um, now skincare is something that I've, I have, like, trouble with. Um, a lot of things irritate my skin. I have acne-prone skin. Um, I have a couple breakouts right now. Just a couple, though, because I've been using something that really works for me. And that is a combination of these two products. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash, and it is the, the um, Foaming Grapefruit Scrub. And I love this stuff. It, um, it smells really nice. It has those little, like, micro beads in it, and, um... It says it's 100% um, naturally derived grapefruit extract. It kind of dries out your skin. If you have dry skin, I would kind of steer clear of this product. But I like this. I um I like this because I have oily skin. So I really like this product. It was um, Allure's 2009 Beauty Expert. Um, it's the Reader's Choice Award winner, and I just think this is great. It was. Just a couple dollars at Target. I don't remember how much it was, but I just love the smell of it. And then, um, this is also at Target. It's an up and up, um, dual treatment moisturizer and it's oil free. Oh, this has salicylic acid in it and so does this, which is really good if you have oily skin that's prone to breakouts because it's going to dry them all up. If you have dry skin and you still have breakouts, use something gentler because you're just going to get like a big flaky mess on your face. And I use this twice a day, both of these twice a day. Um, just because I do, um, even if you have oily skin, it's still important to use a moisturizer and to use an oil-free one. And this prevents pimples and moisturizes dry skin and, 
Yeah, it's really good. It's an up and up kind. It's from Target, but it's compared to Clean and Clear's Dual Action Moisturizer. So that's um, always a plus. I actually used to use the Dual Action one um, from Clean and Clear, but it makes your face really tingly. And I don't know, I just wanted to try something that didn't do that as much. Next thing is hair care, and you guys know I love me some Tresemme. I love this heat tamer spray. It's amazing. It's vitamin enriched. It's, um, you know, it, it does what it says it does, and it says it styles and protects. I never noticed that it said this, but I did always notice that, um, it made my hair noticeably less frizzy, um, and easier kind of to manage whether I'm curling or straightening my hair. This is lightweight, so it's not going to weigh down your hair when you curl it, and I just love this stuff. Okay, now getting into the makeup. There's kind of a few e.l.f. products in here that I think are worth mentioning. Um, even though you guys probably all, like, you guys have probably all heard of e.l.f. You guys probably all know, you know, that their products are really great. But, um, I just wanted to show you guys what my favorites were. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. stuff first, and then I'm going to go on to other stuff. So, the first two are brushes, and they are just the regular eyeshadow brush, and then the, um, e.l.f. defining brush, I believe. Yeah, defining eye brush. These are amazing. I used this one for the, um, just for the outer part today, and I used this for packing on this lid color, and I did this look today. It'll be up on my blog. I'm actually going to upload it today. I'll probably upload this, um, February Favorites video, video tomorrow, or vice versa, whatever. But, um, I really love this for packing on color. These were just a dollar on Elf's website. I, um, well... I didn't buy them on Elf's website, though. I actually bought them at Target, so that works. And then my Elf Fairy Gloss also got at Target. Love it. I love this stuff. Oh, my gosh. It's a perfect color. I didn't use it today, but I've used it pretty much every other day in February. I love it. Okay, and then the next one is a blush, and this is Elf's Blush in Candid Coral. And I've really been anticipating spring, and... <laughs> I know that's kind of bad, but um, I've been wearing spring colors when it's not even like really spring yet. I've been doing all these spring looks, and there is that Candid Coral blush, and it is so beautiful. I love it. I'm wearing it today. i show you how I put it on in the tutorial, but this is really good, and it's our studio blush, and it's only $3 on the website. I got it at Target, and I also got this at Target, which is the Complexion Perfection, and I've been loving this. I wanted to talk to you about it before, but um, I just wanted to use it through the whole month just to see if I liked it and if I could do a video on it, and I probably will because I'm. this is kind of a new addition to my skincare routine, or my, um, my foundation routine, and I love it. I love what I'm doing now versus what I used to be doing, so um, you guys might see an updated foundation and powder routine. Sorry, the sun is out and it's a beautiful day, and these all these colors all just mix together to make this color, but then it goes on like translucent, but it does really take away the redness in your face. Like one day I didn't use it and I noticed the difference. You can use it over or under your foundation. It's Elf Complexion Perfection, three dollars from their studio line. Amazing deal. I got it at Target. Um, and this I got for Christmas. You guys have seen this so many times, especially this month because I have been doing the, um, my, like, color series, not really, like, color series, but, like, spring series, and I've been using so many colors from here. I've been using, I've been using pinks and purples and greens and blues. I've been using all these colors, and then I've been mixing them with just the golds and stuff. This whole look today I created just from this palette and, um, and this one color, but they're all e.l.f. eyeshadows. I love e.l.f. eyeshadows. I can't stress enough how much I love them, um, and especially this the quality in this is amazing, and it's just the $5 palette, and um, I got it as a Christmas present. My mom got it off the website, and um, they're still selling them, and actually at Target, I'm really excited because I just um, went on their website, and they are offering spring and summer ones that have, like, springy and summery colors. The spring one looks, like, a little bit more dull, um, but the summer one has beautiful colors, so I might get it, so i um, really excited about that. Okay, next things, uh, let's see, none of these are e.l.f., so, okay, um, I've been using these as bases, this, um, the double-ended eyeliner and 
I, uh, uh, Zero and Whiskey Eyeliner from Urban Decay. These 24-7 eyeliners are so great. I love these. I use them as bases, and this video is getting really long. Sorry. Um, okay, and then I have my NYX eyeshadow base. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this so many times. I love this stuff. I want to get the skin color one. Okay, and then my next brushes. These are brushes I used to use every day, but actually I'd never used this one. But this is just a foundation brush, and this is just a stippling brush. I use this one for foundation now. I used to use this one, but um, now I use this one, which I never used to use before, but now I do. And um, they're just from Walmart. I got them as a gift, so I don't know how much they are. And um, they were actually not from last Christmas. They were from the Christmas before. So um, that's when I first started um, kind of getting into makeup, like just a little bit. But um, I really love those because I just started using one for blush and one for foundation. And then the next thing is this little thing of... Smashbox cream liners and um it was on sale for ten dollars from the regular 32. I would not pay $32 for this because look at how tiny these are. Um and they work really well as eyeliners or bases. I use them as bases. So um yeah, that's what I did in my springy tutorial. Oh, two more things that aren't makeup related or that aren't makeup. Um but I guess they're makeup related. This Kira scent from, um, from Paxson, it smells so floral and so springy and so, like, bright and pretty. I love this stuff. I just love it. It actually smells like, like, the packaging fits it really well. I just, you guys need to try it. It was, like, $11 or something. And then this nail polish color, it's on my toenails right now. I don't really paint my fingernails, but I'm going to have to because prom is coming up. So, um, I'm going to be on the hunt for a good nail polish. You guys might see a lot of nail polish videos because I'm going to be trying out a lot. But, um, this is just in teal from Love and Beauty from, um, Forever 21. It was $2.80. And the last things are just drugstore makeup products. Um, I don't really have any, that many high-end products in my video today. Just a couple, but, um, okay, so I have this Maybelline Turbo... The Turbo Volume Express. And I love this stuff. It just makes my eyelashes long without giving them too much volume. Which I really like. If you guys want volume though and length, go for the falsies. I say go for the falsies. Or, um, and then this one. This big, big one. It's like big, very black. It's a great lash one. It works just as well as the other, the regular Great Lash, except it lengthens it. So I think it works kind of as well as this one. Um, but this one might give a little bit more volume. But this, but I love all Maybelline mascaras. I'm actually just starting to get into them again. I used to love them. I used to be obsessed with them. I like the Lash Stiletto. I love this, like, regular green and pink one. I like all of them. So, um, that's basically it. And then I have my Boots Number no. 7 Foundation. This is probably going to be in every single favorites video because I use it every single day and I love it. It's um, in the color 20 Blonde. It's like $13.99 or $12.99 or something at Target and it is the best foundation. It's the best mousse foundation ever. You guys can see in there. I'm running out. It smells really bad but um, I don't find it a problem because it hides all of my acne and stuff. So um, and then the last thing is oh my gosh I love this. It's the NYC number 416 Berry Rich Lipstick. It doesn't have a scent to it, but um, I use it kind of as a... Let me show you a swatch. There it is. Um, I use it as a lip stain sometimes. Um, I think I show you guys how to do that in one of my chit chats. And then sometimes I just use it, you know, by itself. Sometimes I use it with a gloss over it. There's a lot of things I use this for be because it's such a pretty berry color and it looks really good on my skin tone. So, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, that's all for my favorites and I really hope you guys liked it and um, enjoyed it. I know the videos are really long, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, go check out my blog and um, tell me what you think of it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I think that's pretty much it. Alright, bye guys!